anybody. Today we're building a customized CAFS system, and CAFS stands for Compressed Air Foam System. We're taking 1% surfactant, 99% water, and 6,000 parts air, and we're using that to create a foam that works both as a thermal barrier to keep heat from reaching surfaces that we don't want to catch fire, and as a direct suppressant, it can actually be put onto burning things and put them out. And we're doing a prototype to see if we can get a CAFS unit built into this UTV. So if you're wondering why we're putting a CAFS system in here, it's because a vehicle of this size is the only size vehicle that could get in between the houses in a circumstance like we saw at the Marshall Fire, which means that once this machine's back there, it's got to do everything that any other machine would have had to do if it could have got back there. We can simultaneously use our jets flowing one way to push the fire back and put it out while we're protecting structures while we drive around them with our foam system. We were able to cover this house in a matter of seconds. If there had been a fire raging through here, we could have sped up this driveway. You know, two or three minutes, we would have had all of the vital surfaces of the house covered. We're going to test this here. I'm putting just a couple inches of foam on top of the cardboard. Three, two. And we're using the other half untreated. We're going to apply a blowtorch here to close to 2,000 degrees. And you can see that we're applying this here for a minute with no combustion. But we take that same torch. Three, two. And we apply it to the cardboard, and we're on fire within 10 seconds. All of the external controls, the pumps and the valves right now that we're on, on the outside, those are going to get moved to the inside so that you don't have to stop in the middle of a raging fire to adjust your valves. This is the one you don't want to make. So that way all the, the, the working machinery is on the outside, but all the controls are on the inside. I don't think I've seen that on any fire truck either. But... The wood in there? Yeah. We're doing all the testing today to make sure that this is going to fit on board this vehicle, that we can handle the weight, and that we get the mobility that we need. If you're trying to hit this house with just a standard wildland line, um, you're not really going to make much much headway, right? You might cool it down and, and, and wet it down for a little bit, but mm -hmm. uh, what we saw in Marshall was that that really doesn't do anything. Um, this sort of insulating layer, I think, has a huge application in structure protection. I'm really happy with how things went today. Michael got this thing put together in just a matter of minutes. Now we're just tightening up a couple of fittings, making a few adjustments. But overall, I'm really happy with what's happening.